Hey guys, welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, King of Do. Uh, before we dive into blockchain and cryptocurrency talk, I just want to give my deepest condolences to everyone in England that's been affected by the recent bombing. Um, I just found out about it when I got home, and that's terrible news. And I'm so sorry for you guys. I uh, just want to let you guys know our thoughts and prayers are with you. And uh, um, I just don't know what to say. Uh, you know, uh, I these things are horrible. And it's so bad. And I know that everyone watching this channel, you know, you guys are believers in things like decentralization and um, helping people be free, creating freedom. Um, and when people do things like this, they you know they're abusing their freedom and the, and then you know we we end up moving the wrong direction in the long run when we when these things happen and it's just it's sad um and i hope that uh i hope there's a brighter future um anyhow back to blockchain and cryptocurrency um because that's what you guys are here for right so all right ethereum out of control in a good way <laughs> Uh, today, uh, I believe on GDAX, I saw $184. You may have seen it higher, uh, depending on where you were looking, but really exciting. There was a massive sell-off today, uh, quite the whale. One of the biggest that I've personally witnessed firsthand uh, as, as the dumping happened. Um, I saw the price drop uh, $50, essentially in just a matter of a few minutes and it opened up a wonderful buying opportunity I don't know if we will ever be that low again I know that uh, anything is possible though but we we bounced so hard I had trouble placing orders at that time because I was trying to get more in because it was a great buying opportunity I hope you guys took advantage of it but wow, sites started crashing everywhere. Every exchange, uh, Coinbase was crashing. It was impossible to pretty much place an order um, for quite a while. And uh, so we bounced really, 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 really hard. And that's very important for you guys to understand because that's probably where our new resistance point is. It's pretty clear. When every website and exchange like is crashing, it's pretty clear that that's where people are wanting in desperately. The real support's probably higher, but um, there was just that much dumped all at once that everything was going down. So um, here's to uh, greener days. Anyone that got in on that, uh, I saw the price bounce almost all the way back up to the 170 USD range. Uh, it's bounced around in the 60s, 160s. And uh, who knows where it'll settle. At some point it's going to settle, but we still have two more days of consensus. Two more days of an amazing announcements and technologies. We saw the announcement, um, which we already knew was coming, but we got to learn about PRISM. And it was exactly what I, what I thought it was going to be. And essentially, uh, kind of similar to the Bancor technology, but they beat them to it. And so uh, the new shapeshift's really going to be cool. Using Prism, you're going to be able to basically invest into multiple coins, multiple currencies, uh, multiple E20s. You're going to be able to easily diversify with one single transaction, one single trade. You'll also be able to liquidate all of them at once very easily in a decentralized manner, which means no more exchanges. It is an exchange in and of itself in a way, but we're going to continue to trend as a uh, as a community and as a in new industry to begin decentralizing away from exchanges. I don't know what that means for the future. And I don't really know what it, that looks like in one year, three years, five, ten. I don't know. But what I do know is that it's pretty cool. It's just cool. I like it. So be looking forward to that. Um, you guys also saw that the, uh, the Ethereum Alliance, uh, that was announced, a bunch of partners, and I guess you guys are expecting me to go over that. Um, I don't blame you. Uh, when I uh, went to go read the file, um, it's huge. 
it's going to take me a lot of time to sift through it and determine if it's worth presenting to you. Um, I think it's really cool. It's worth taking a look at only because there's a quote by every single partner um, about either their excitement of Ethereum, their support of Ethereum. And if you're ever having doubts about Ethereum, um, it can it's now like our Bible. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good reference, but you have you have something to go and read um, to uh, inspire you. Um, these are coming from some of the biggest organizations in the world. Um, and many you probably never heard of, but it is uh, worldwide, so there are going to be a lot of companies you never heard of before in there, um, but they're legitimate companies. Um, so anyhow, I'll be taking a look at that. When I first opened it up, I thought it would be a nice, quick, little, easy read. Um, and then I was like, whoa, I just opened up the Bible. And so in the beginning, Vitalik created Ethereum. Like, that's pretty much it. <laughs> anyhow. So um, I'll be looking through that and giving you guys my thoughts on that um, in future videos. Um, but what I really wanted to talk about today is the pullback real quickly. I've got other things I want to share today. But in this video, I want to talk about the, the whale that sold out um, because there's going to be other whales. And that whale was really unbelievable. I can't believe someone had that much Ethereum. I don't know who we shook out, but hundreds of millions in Ethereum just dropped. And so that's technically a good thing. If, you, if, you're, not, if you're not aware, when, when a whale uh, does that, he essentially is shaking out all of his shares to regular people like you and me. We get in, um, hopefully at a good price, um, and then it kind of comes back up. Now, sometimes it takes a lot of time. Sometimes a whale can scare, scare the market enough to crash it, but um, I don't think there's any whale out there that's um, completely ignorant because you would have to be to not understand where Ethereum is headed. Transactions are through the roof. We all know that miners, when they direct their power towards something, it, it says something about a coin. Yesterday was the first time in history that Bitcoin essentially was not the leading blockchain um, when it comes to the secured network. And Ethereum essentially had so many miners pointed at it, everyone's switching, all the power is going to Ethereum now, that Ethereum has now become officially the most secured blockchain network in the history of mankind. Sweet. So, that's exciting news. And something that kind of just got swept under the rug. Something that no one would really say or think about. But um, I saw that stat and thought you guys would like to know that. Um, besides that, um, I've got some other things I want to cover in some upcoming videos. I'm still working on uh, my Steema introduction for you guys. Uh, make sure you guys check out Steemit and follow me on Steemit. I appreciate you guys a ton helping me out there. Um, I also really appreciate everyone that's been buying on Amazon. I can't. I actually can't believe it. Uh, that's really great. Your support goes a long ways. I know that almost everyone has an Amazon account here in America. Um, I don't know where you are, but um, if you ever do buy on Amazon, you know, just click the link below and then check out. It helps me. It's really cool. It, uh, it keep, keeps me going, keeps me positive, keeps me inspired, and I keep bringing you guys uh, more and more content as I get more and more inspired, so I really appreciate it. Um, so back to the whale thing. So again, when the money gets shaken out, we all collect it. And because of that, we are the, we are the true believers, right? The average everyday man, not these whales trying to just make a quick billion or whatever. I don't even know. Like, if I had that much money, I'd like to think I wouldn't do that. But I also know that, well, I guess if I could game the system, maybe I would. I'm not in that position. Um, you know, it, 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 the way that we glorify whales, we, we pretend that they just print money on trees. And I don't know if that's true. I really don't. Um, but it sure seems like they have the ability to make as much money as they want. It's like, oh, you know, I think I'm going to buy an island today. Let me go uh, short Ethereum and 
trash my holdings and I don't know if that's how it works to be honest so um, that being said um, it's good it's good when we decentralize and we spread out that wealth um, that is today because of that there are more people in Ethereum a part of our community than yesterday so whales shaking out is actually a healthy thing in the long run we want more people putting this stuff in cold storage we want money coming into the market staying there and we want the ethereum to not be accessible we want people to hold it we want it to become precious um and that's going to drive up the value now that being said um i don't think it takes a rocket scientist to try to do the math um when you look at all of these associate uh, all the companies within the association that's going to be coming on board um developing blockchain solutions on ethereum it's a strictly an ethereum alliance it wasn't a blockchain alliance guys it is a ethereum only think about that you know um again I, i've been covering the transactions and how much they've been going up lately um i'm going to bring that up now just because it came to mind but the number of transactions are through the roof and that's really really exciting um you know we've we've more than doubled and in some cases you could make the argument that we've tripled in the last month depending on the averages so i'm looking at the um uh, uh the address chart right now and we've actually doubled the number of addresses since february officially more than doubled now so that's official i mean this guy go check it out guys ether scan etherscan.io it's straight up now let's go over to another chart let's take a look at transaction history and that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen I told you guys this weekend it was down because it was the weekend we hit an all-time high today and today is not over today is not over we blasted through what we did yesterday we're 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 at like a hundred and seventy five thousand um yesterday we did under 150 uh well under actually about 125 so massive increase in the amount of transactions that are happening and that's critical guys you got to understand the more that it's used that's the real value we this is not a cryptocurrency this is this comes down to actual value so I'm excited um, I think we're just getting started I think that we will triple that's my prediction we will triple the amount of transactions by the end of June so there's a prediction for you guys what that means for the price I don't know but what I have been noticing is that the transactions to the price there's a correlation Pay attention to transactions. It's an early indicator for you guys. Okay? Um, the more that people use it, the more they believe in it. You know, um, a lot of people at the consensus conference were talking about how um, they, they were, there were some, there were some questions asked at consensus to some people on the stage about when was the first time you heard about Ethereum, etc. One person heard about Ethereum once. And then went to work one day and found out that she had actually been using it and had no idea. Like she was using an application essentially built on Ethereum. That's pretty crazy. I wonder how many people out there literally use it every day. Don't understand it quite yet. But they're going to. And they're going to learn about it. Are they going to invest in it? I don't know. But the awareness is spreading. I had a friend... I have a friend, I have a very close friend that I, uh, that I work with on this, and he said that he had a friend call him last night and essentially say, hey, I don't know how to buy Ethereum, but I need you to buy me some Ethereum, <laughs> right? The guy, the guy is not that good with computers and things like that. My friend is very good with them and essentially knew that he was into cryptocurrency and blockchain, and all he knew is I need to buy some. I did some research online, I need to buy some. Maybe some of you are still in that boat where you're just doing the research and you don't know if you need to buy some. Um, 
that's still up to you. Do your homework. Do, do your due diligence. But when you're considering it, make sure you go to etherscan.io. Click on charts. Look at the charts. Look at the growth. Does the price match the growth? Look at Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a belief system, guys. That is all it is. It literally takes faith to own a Bitcoin. Ethereum does not take faith because you can go and look it up. You can go and use it. You can actually see the value with your eyes. I am looking at actual real transactions. I have a miner that's actually mining and confirming transactions every second of every day. It's extremely real. I am helping the network. I can see new dApps come online. It's fascinating to me when I'm using a dApp, which is a decentralized app. It's kind of like, I don't know why we call it that. We should just call them apps, right? Because everyone understands that. But it's essentially an app, and I'm using the app knowing that it's reaching out to the blockchain. And my machine over here is helping with transactions when I use it for different processes. It's very real, guys. It's as real as the processor inside of your computer and as real as the energy that it ha requires to work. Ethereum requires gas, which is a which is basically a small amount of ether. That's the simple way to put it. And it's getting used, just like gasoline. And the more gasoline is in demand, the more the price goes up. This is the exact same concept. This is as classic as supply and demand gets. You don't even have to go to business college to learn any of this. You know it, and this is it. It's proof. You can go and you can look at it. You can go and you can use applications. There's no Bitcoin applications that help improve my life or speed up processes, right? Bitcoin requires faith in that it, the coin will hold its value. Ethereum, I don't have to have any faith in because I can go and use it. It's tangible. It's real. It's not, it's not some fantasy land. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I wanted to make sure you guys know the differences between Bitcoin and Ethereum and where I stand on it and help you guys understand what it really is. And it's tangible. It's real. Go use it if you haven't yet. Go find a dApp that you can use. See how it works. You will no longer question whether it has value. You'll only begin questioning how it doesn't have more value and how much more could it potentially be used. What does the future look like? You know, there was once a time where the internet was like this. Not many people even had a way to connect to it. The Alliance is an announcement of the biggest companies in the world saying we're planning on connecting on like to it or maybe they already have but the majority of them are working on it they haven't even plugged in yet think about that the most powerful companies the most powerful governments in the world have processing power time is money guys right we've heard that saying processing time is money processors do work for us they automate things for us think of all the things in your life that are faster and more convenient for you it's because there's a processor making it faster and more convenient just think about it so i'll end it with that guys i hope um you learned something um i just wanted to just speak my mind i was thinking about it on the way home what i wanted to talk about i wanted to talk about the difference between bitcoin and ethereum faith versus what's tangible and i hope you guys learned something through that um and i hope uh you guys enjoyed this episode so again i am the king of do please give me a like give me a good comment i love talking with you guys uh make sure you subscribe if you like this content um, I do all kinds of content. If you're not familiar with my show, 
Uh, I've been doing everything. I cover ICOs. I cover Consensus, Ethereal Summit. I try to bring breaking news. Sometimes I'm bringing it live. Um, so if you're in, if you're in this for the long haul, it's worth subscribing. I promise you'll learn something. Um, that's because that's my goal. I let you guys decide what I'm going to research next. I go through the comments. I actually keep track of everything you guys are requesting, and I work really hard to try to bring you what's valuable to you. I want to help you guys, and through that, I get help. Together, we're learning. You guys are teaching me so many things. Huge props to a bunch of you guys. You guys have been sending me links and updates and showing me uh, more information that I may have missed when I did my research, and it is super enlightening, and I am super ecstatic. Please keep doing that. It means the world to me. So with that, make sure you go to Steam it. Give me a follow. Make sure you upvote me there as well. That means the world to me. And I appreciate it from the deepest depths of my heart. I really appreciate it, guys. So as always, I am the King of Dew. May the Force be with you. I'll see you soon.